Thank you for joining us on WFMZ. I'm meteorologist Amanda Cox. Well, the big storm that we've been watching over the last several days is finally starting to affect our area. It has been plaguing the entire east coast throughout the entire day. You can see the low pressure system, though, is swirling right over the Carolinas. This is going to continue to track up the coast and bring in the snowfall throughout the overnight hours. Here's a closer look at the radar. You can see that snowfall is moving in, and it's going to continue to fill in as we head through the overnight and into the day on Monday. Day. We are looking at some snowfall totals with this system, but we're going to have to continue to look at that in just a minute. We do have a winter storm warning out for a good portion of the viewing area. This winter storm warning is until s Monday afternoon. It is going to remain in effect until this system finally pushes off to the northeast and all of the precipitation exits our area. There is a winter weather advisory for two of our counties, Schuylkill and Pike, but for the most part, we are going to have to continue to watch this because there could be some very slick travel with the snowfall that's going to make its way in. This low pressure system, though, is going to leave the Carolinas, head towards your northeast right along the coast. As it does, it's going to bring in the snowfall throughout the overnight hours. This is going to be the best chance of some heavy and steadiest snowfall. We're looking at that to be in the overnight and into the early morning hours on Monday. This is going to make for some very difficult conditions to travel. So make sure you're very careful if you are going to be out throughout the overnight hours or headed to work in any commute that you're going to be doing in the morning because there's going to be some slick conditions around. So definitely take some extra precautions and allow for some extra time to get to the places you need to go. Here's the snowfall amounts we are looking at. Heavier amounts to the southeast. We're looking at 6 to 10 inches from Chester, Montgomery, and Bucks County, the southern half of those counties, southeastward, and then also keeping that 6 to 10 inches for a good portion of New Jersey. Once we move a little further to the northwest, 3 to 6 inches for the valley, and then also all the way up into northwestern New Jersey. We are going to have to continue to watch this system, but lighter amounts to the northwest up into Schuylkill and Carbon County, that's where we can see one to three inches. The reason we're going to have to continue to watch this system is because any little difference in the track will actually change the amount of these accumulations. If the track changes like 20 to 30 miles either to the east or west, that's where we can see the amounts going up or down. If it pushes off to the east just slightly, these numbers are going to go down. However, though, if it backs up to the west any little bit, say 20 to 30 miles, that's where we can see these numbers going up. So you're going to have to stay tuned to the Accuweather Weather Channel and 69 News, and we're going to continue to watch this all night long, so definitely stay with us. Here's what we are going to recap what we've just talked about. Snow will continue throughout the overnight hours. Heavy at times, and the steadiest snowfall will be overnight and into the early morning hours. Once we get into your Monday afternoon, the snow will start to taper off, and then we'll see the clouds breaking up on Monday night as this low-pressure system finally pushes off to the northeast, and then we could see some quieter conditions for this next week. We are going to be here all night long watching this system, so stay with us, and we'll be back here at 8 for the next update. Enterprise system. Or... Thank you for watching WFMZ 69 News. I'm meteorologist Amanda Cox. Well, the storm system that's been plaguing the East Coast all day today is now finally working its way into our skies. We are seeing a lot of precipitation still along the Carolinas and into Virginia, but now you can see the snowfall is making its way up into our skies. The low pressure system is still over the Carolinas, but it is going to track up the East Coast. This is going to help to bring in that snowfall during the overnight hours and continue to keep some snowfall around during the day on Monday. Here's a closer look at our radar. You can see that snowfall has made its way in over the last couple of hours. It is staying well to the southeast corner of Pennsylvania and covering over the entire state of New Jersey. We are going to say the most of the snowfall staying well to the southeast because this low pressure system is tracking off the coast. However, though, we could still see some accumulation across the entire viewing area as we head during this time period. We do have a winter storm warning out for the entire viewing area. This is going to be out until Monday afternoon until this storm system really pushes off to the northeast and 
tapers off our snowfall, we're going to have to continue to keep this winter storm warning in effect throughout this entire time. There is a winter storm advisory for Schuylkill and Pike County, but for the rest of the viewing area, we have that warning going on. This low pressure system, like I said, is going to leave the Carolinas, track right up the coast. As it does, it's going to bring that snowfall in, continuing through the overnight hours. We're looking at the heaviest and steadiest snowfall to be overnight into the early morning hours on Monday. And then the system will push off to the northeast later in the day. You can see it will be north of us by Monday night. That is going to help to taper off the snowfall in the afternoon and early evening hours. But then once we get into your Monday night, we're really going to see things quieting down as another high pressure system tries to take over and dries us out for the rest of the week. Here's what we are looking at for snowfall totals. Heaviest amounts will be to the southeast. We're looking in Chester, Montgomery, and Bucks County southern half of those counties and southward is 6 to 10 inches of snowfall along with most of New Jersey. If we work our way a little further to the northwest in the valley all the way up into northwest New Jersey this is where we can see 3 to 6 inches of snowfall and normally where we see the most snowfall we'll actually see the lighter amounts 1 to 3 inches in Schuylkill and Carbon County just parts of that but we are going to have to continue to watch this system. The reason is because if it does track any little bit differently than what we're looking at right now, it could change the outcome of these amounts. If it tracks even 20, 30 miles to the east, these amounts are going to go down. However, though, if it backs up to the west just a little bit, these amounts are going to go up. So we're going to continue to watch it throughout the overnight hours and during the day on Monday. We'll be here all night long to let you know what is going on. So definitely stay tuned to 69 News and the AccuWeather channel. Let's recap what we just talked about through the overnight hours. Snow is going to continue to stick around. Heaviest snowfall and steadiest snowfall will be during the overnight hours into the early part of your Monday. Then this system will push off to the northeast, and as it does, we'll start to see the snow tapering off in the afternoon hours, becoming fairly quiet by Monday night. The clouds will start to break up as another high-pressure system pushes into our area, and we actually will see some very cold temperatures as those clouds do break up. Our temperatures could be right around 10 degrees on Monday night. Some areas could even see the single single digits for lows and right into the lower teens for the overnight hours. So definitely stay tuned. We're going to continue to keep watching this snowfall as it makes its way into our skies and let you know how it will affect all of your plans. We'll be here all night and we'll be back here at 9 p.m. to let you know what's going on. Here it all. 69 News is always on with complete coverage of local news. Thank you for staying with us on WFMC. I'm meteorologist Amanda Cox. We are continuing to watch this low pressure system. It is starting to bring some snowfall into our skies. However, though, the low is going to continue to stay well to the south of us, and it will track off to the east. But you can see this low pressure system right over the Carolinas. A lot of snowfall, though, tracking over the eastern portions of Pennsylvania, which is where we're starting to see some of this snowfall making its way in. It will continue as we head through overnight hours and during the day on Monday. We are going to have to continue to watch this system though, so definitely stay tuned. We'll keep you updated. Here's what we're looking at with this system. There is a winter storm warning out and this is going to continue to affect us as we head through the overnight hours and into the day on Monday. We're looking at it being around through Monday afternoon, but it will continue to affect us as till this system does finally move off to the northeast. We are looking at some snowfall totals from this system because it is going to track right up the east coast. As it does, that is going to bring in some snowfall, like I said, through the overnight hours and during the day on Monday. We're looking at the heaviest snowfall to be overnight into the early morning hours, and then it will continue to push off to the northeast. We'll see our snow fall tapering off as we head into the afternoon and evening hours and finally seeing this whole entire system push off to the northeast with all of the snowfall moving just north of us as we head into your evening and overnight hours on Monday night. Fairly quiet conditions, though, will return for the middle of this next work week. Here's what we're looking at for some snowfall totals. Heavier amounts to the southeast, and that's going to continue to keep increasing as we head through this system. We're looking at 6 to 10 inches of snowfall starting at Chester, Montgomery, Bucks County, 
south half of those counties and southward. And this is going to continue to be the case, especially as we get into New Jersey, going to keep that 6 to 10 inches around. However, though, as we work further to the northwest, that's where we can see 3 to 6 inches of snowfall. This is going to be a little bit lighter because of that system that is staying right along the coast. We're staying right on the fringes of this snowfall, so the heaviest is going to be closer to the low. However, though, as we get even further to the northwest, that's where we're seeing even lighter amounts, one to three inches for Schuylkill and Carbon County. But the reason we're going to have to keep watching all of this, if the system does track any little bit, whether to the east or west, this is where we could actually see the changing amounts either down or up. If it's a little further to the east, the amounts are going to go down. If it's a little further back to the west, this is where our amounts could go up. We're going to have to stay with it, though, throughout the next several hours. And as we continue to get more information in, we'll keep you updated on how it will affect all of your plans. Here's what we're looking at and what we've said over the last couple of minutes. We're looking at the heaviest snowfall to be through the overnight hours and during the day on Monday, mainly being in the early morning hours. But then once we get later in the day, that low pressure system will push off to the northeast and our snowfall will start to taper off as we get into the afternoon hours. As we get later in the day and it really moves off to the northeast we're going to see the clouds start to break up on monday night as high pressure starts to move in behind it and start to dominate our weather pattern keeping us dry as we head into this next work week on tuesday wednesday and thursday so we just have to get past this first system and then we looks like we have some quieter weather on the way we'll just stay with us and we'll be back here at 10 for all the latest weather updates and we'll let you know what's going on